This is Mission Control Houston. The uh, space station and Dragon continue to fly over the South Atlantic Ocean. Their altitude right now, 272 miles. We are uh, still in the process of what we call second stage capture. Once this is completed, that will be our official installation time. For those of you just joining us, it's been a fairly quick morning. The crew's been running ahead of schedule the entire time. Dragon was captured at 5.56 a.m. Central Time, 6.56 a.m. Eastern Time, as the two vehicles flew 250 miles above the Earth just to the west of Baja, California. But Ike Hoshide and Sonny Williams, two members of Expedition 33, are currently in the process of finishing up the second stage capture. There's a series of latches and bolts that have to be secured, and then we will be able to call an official installation time of Dragon to the International Space Station itself. Station Houston on space to ground two. The next template is on board and we have solid calm. You're go to proceed to step five, decimal four, decimal two. Happy that is in work. This is Mission Control Houston. We have confirmation from the team here that we have a good second stage capture of Dragon. Complete the rest of the install procedure. Ready for you in step six. That is it. Work. Thank you. So once again, second stage capture completed on Dragon. This marks our official installation time of 8.03 a.m. Central Time, 9.03 a.m. Eastern Time. These two spacecraft were high above the South Atlantic Ocean, just about halfway in between Africa and South America. It's altitude 273 miles, once again 8.03 a.m. Central Time, 9.03 a.m. Eastern Time, for the official installation time of the SpaceX Dragon spacecraft to the International Space Station. Here's a look out. At the uh, station itself with Dragon attached now, you see the Soyuz 31 or the TMA-05M back there on the ROSFET module. That is what brought up Sonny Williams, Yuri Malenchenko, and Aki Hoshide. This will also serve as the ride home coming up in November. And then the Progress 48 back there as well, docked to the uh, piers docking compartment. The Dragon, now the uh, newest member of the uh, space station complex, it was grappled at 5.56 a.m. Central Time. It was installed at 8.03 a.m. Central Time. It has quite a bit of cargo inside, which of course was the point of this mission. 882 pounds of cargo brought up to the station. Tons of science being delivered to the uh, Expedition 33 crew. 
And then, of course, Dragon will be unloaded over the next several days. The hatch will be opened up tomorrow. The crew will perform an inspection of the inside of the vehicle like they always do anytime a new visiting vehicle arrives. Make sure that the environment is safe, that nothing is uh, floating in there that uh, is uh, not expected. And they will begin the process of unloading, unloading all the cargo over the next uh, several days. They'll also be packing it full of items that are coming back to Earth. Typically, these cargo vehicles are packed full of trash and burn up in the Earth's atmosphere. Dragon's a bit different. It has the ability to return cargo, so it's going to be bringing home quite a number of samples and uh, other equipment that is no longer needed on board the station or is uh, due back here on Earth for further research. Dragon will be bringing back 1,673 pounds at the conclusion of this mission. So with the successful installation of Dragon to the International Space Station, we're getting close to wrapping up our live coverage for today. A couple of programming reminders. We will have our typical ISS update show today at 10 o'clock Central Time, 11 o'clock Eastern Time. We'll have an update for you today uh, of the rest of the crew's activities as they finish up some of this cleanup activity. But their job pretty much is finished up with uh, Dragon for today. During that ISS update hour, we plan to have Bill Gerstenmeier, Exploration and Operations. He is uh, here in Houston today watching along as this uh, SpaceX Dragon spacecraft arrived at the station. But NASA Public Affairs Officer Dan Hewitt, who will be anchoring ISS update today, will be talking uh, with Mr. Gerstenmeier about his thoughts on today's uh, mission and also what's ahead for the crew as they get uh, ready to unload all of the science and equipment from Dragon and a packet full of items that are coming back to Earth at the conclusion of the flight. So once again, ISIS update coming up at 10 Central Time, 11 Eastern Time. But of course, for all the latest, we invite you to log on to the NASA website at www.nasa.gov slash station. And as a final reminder, there's several different sighting opportunities this week uh, in the evenings over North America as you can step outside and take a look at uh, the uh, space station itself with Dragon attached. Again, the sighting opportunities over North America this week are uh, plentiful, so you have a good chance to uh, see the two spacecraft as they fly together in the early evening hours. Once again, go to nasa.gov slash station. Just take a look for sighting opportunities. You can also go to spaceflight.nasa.gov. Once again, spaceflight.nasa.gov. Just click on the menu at the top that says uh, real-time data. Click on that, and underneath that, you'll see sounding opportunities. You'll be able to select your uh, state and then your home city. We want to thank you for joining us. It's been a uh, milestone of a day here as SpaceX uh, successfully arrived at the station on this first of several commercial resupply missions by these uh, private companies here in the United States as they deliver uh, supplies to this orbiting complex the International Space Station. We'll see you back here at 10 o'clock for ISS Update. This is Mission Control Houston.